Yo, it's Dr. Cool. Welcome back. Before we dive in, let me rephrase this question. Does anything good comes from the Western world? Don't be in a rush to say yes. Coca-Cola versus self-powered car, it's a terrible comparison, isn't it? The love of money is the root of evil. How about the lack of money? Definitely the tree, right? Have you ever wondered why Coca-Cola slipped through the radar subjectivity of Western scientific rigor without hassle? Yet the groundbreaking invention as huge as the self-powered car from Zimbabwe inventor faces such a horrific and abusive skepticism ever recorded in the history of humanity. Something terrible is wrong with the world we're living in. That most people will simply ignore and continue to survive only to pay undending bills until they get cooked and buried. Realistically, the Western economic system is a typical reality of Matrix. Keeping their citizens running rat race through many lopsided systems such as education, energy, products, dependency, religion, and to make matter worse, got it detonated with hypocrisy. Gat damn it, you've got to re-watch that movie called Matrix. Perhaps let me slide in the scene that explains things in the most comprehensive way that defines the schema's world. It's interesting, isn't it, where only just few are reaping in huge bounty at the expense of the vast majority. Stemming from health energy crisis, TGE list gones on that is often ignored. However, it worths a while to dig up this uncomfortable truth and know the real villain we watch in blockbuster movies are in reality. Then we can confront it. You might want to fasten your seatbelt as things is about to get uncomfortably bumpy. A world where Coca-Cola, Brother Sprit, and UT Twin Brother 7-Up that is nothing but sugar and water with a touch of carbon, a sugary beverage with known health risks, is readily embraced. Even as it didn't get patented, it doesn't raise eyebrows. Now picture a self-powered car fueled by renewable energy facing constant destructive, inhumane, horrific, abusive skepticism and ridicule. This is not a work of fiction, it's the reality of our current scientific landscape, a system fraught with double standards and driven by hidden agendas. We must ask ourselves, who decides what science accepts? Who is behind the mask here? The answer, it seems, is not as straightforward as we might hope. The pursuit of knowledge, the very essence of science, appears to have been hijacked by powerful interests. Tailoring the very essence and driving force for innovation and technology advances has been held back. This video aims to expose the hypocrisy within the scientific community, particularly the Western dominance that dictates what is deemed acceptable and what is dismissed as pseudoscience. Then choose which bad names to brand it for easy silencing. The truth, often buried under layers of corporate influence and regional bias, desperately needs to be unearthed. Coca-Cola, a ubiquitous symbol of American capitalism, serves as a prime example of how financial interests can overshadow genuine scientific concern. This sugary drink, linked to various health problems like obesity, diabetes, immune system suppressor, heart disease, enjoys widespread acceptance. It shocked you, didn't it? Realistically, I have not hate for Coca-Cola and it brothers in beverage so-called carbonated drinks. Sound like when we chopped off the chunk off the carbon emitted out of guzzling car tailpipe, we shove it right back into the belly of the people who wants to save the planet through carbonated drinks. Sounds funny, but this is justified cutting of one, two trees to save one. My goodness, what are they thinking? How can a product with such a detrimental impact on public health thrive in a world that supposedly values scientific integrity? Don't even get me started with not getting patented and two guys don't have to meet in the broad daylight to save the recipe. Probably you've never heard that before. Will be my guest. It's fascinating, isn't it? The answer lies in the immense marketing power and lobbying efforts of corporations like Coca-Cola. They invest billions in shaping public perception, promoting their product as a symbol of happiness and refreshment. This aggressive marketing, coupled with their influence on regulatory bodies, allows them to bypass rigorous scientific scrutiny the result is a triumph of profit over public health, a testament to the influence of money on scientific acceptance. The pharmaceutical industry, another powerful player in the global market, also exemplifies the dangers of financial interests dictating scientific progress. 
While groundbreaking advancements in medicine deserve our utmost respect, the industry's focus on profit often comes at the expense of genuine healthcare solutions. The development and promotion of expensive, patented drugs, sometimes with questionable efficacy, raise serious concerns about the true motives behind certain scientific endeavors. The suppression of alternative treatments, especially those derived from traditional knowledge or natural resources, further exposes this hypocrisy. These alternatives, often more affordable and accessible, are sidelined because they threaten the profits of Big Pharma. This manipulation of scientific research and dissemination of information raises a critical question. Are we truly serving the interests of public health or the financial ambitions of a select few? In stark contrast to the widespread acceptance of potentially harmful products like Coca-Cola, that a point one marketing manager who was once interviewed about the health risk it possesses, and he quickly say no health risks, however, an audience who shares his enthusiasm quickly got him a bottle for demonstration and he refused to take a sip. This is not just about Coca-Cola, but every one of it, brothers such as Fanta, Sprite, Pepsi, they're a whole bucket list of it. Yes, I get it, the innovations that challenge the existing order often face staunch resistance. The story of Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor who have developed a self-powered car, exemplifies this phenomenon. Despite demonstrating of a working prototype, in multiple events, from the president of Zimbabwe to independent reviews such as Foster Gamble's documentary and Niels Rognerud, to the very fabulous day of unveiling of the fully working prototypes before the audience, faced constant skepticism, ridicule and even threats primarily from Western skeptics. The most shocking part of this horror is an attendance who came on the very day of unveiling to show off the Western arrogance and disrespect to Africa by making unethical requests proved the height of insanity demonstrated against the inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered technology. Realistically, Maxwell Chikumbutso invention has the R potential revolutionize not just the automotive industry but nearly every sector anything that needs battery PR power or fossil fuel to function. Yet, instead of rigorous investigation and potential collaboration, Chikumbutso's work is met with dismissal and accusations of fraud, paying jobless journalists to paint his theft and snake oil seller, aside pushing the media blackout or mute button simultaneously. This case exposes a pervasive bias within the scientific community and Western politicians, a reluctance to accept groundbreaking innovations particularly those originating from the Global South, that challenge the established scientific paradigms and economic interests. Green energy or greenwashing, the West's selective innovation. The hypocrisy of Western-dominated science becomes even more apparent when we examine the field of green energy. While there's much talk about combating climate change and transitioning to sustainable solutions, the reality is far from this rhetoric. The West often champions specific green technologies while simultaneously suppressing others, particularly those that threaten their economic dominance. For instance, solar and wind energy, while important, are often presented as the only viable solutions. Why? Because these are Western money-making machines that plays carrots donkey trick on customers who purchases this outdated technologies of recycled fossil fuel. Meanwhile, alternative technologies, such as those based on water or magnetic energy, receive little attention or funding. Why? Because it's not keeping the people in perpetual chains of unending wants of energy that results to personal financial depletion over a long period. This selective approach to innovation raises suspicions about the true motivations behind the West's green initiatives. Are they genuinely committed to a sustainable future, or are they more interested in maintaining their control over global energy markets, which they often create scarcity to hike the price causing inflation and economy instabilities? Patents and profiteering, how corporations control knowledge. The patent system, intended to protect intellectual property and encourage innovation, has become a tool for suppressing disruptive technologies. The past inventors who made invention close to the perpetual motion machine may be silenced as the world isn't pushing for renewable energy, however. Maxwell Chikumbutso self-powered technology came at the time. Green energy and sustainable energy solutions was sorted out for globally. Maybe the physics concept of 
Getting the bag for only few is the ideology of the Western world propaganda of saving the planet. Or perhaps their plan is to keep the people in the illusion of renewable green energy while unloading and selling different dog shit with pile of gigantic lithium battery and wide touch screen enough to make cinema big screen jealous. Pitch that crap to them to buy Promise Heaven Root while aiming at the sky and shoot the purchasing cost quickly time to grab the bag. Before suddenly things takes a perplex turn. Maxwell Chikumbutso's technology cut into the show uninvited in the brutal way how else will it have provoked envy, jealousy, which we know it doesn't deserve the level of accusations and suppression it getting as we speak? Large corporations often file numerous patents, creating a complex web of legal barriers that stifle competition and prevent independent inventors from bringing their ideas to market. This system effectively allows corporations to control the flow of knowledge and maintain their dominance in various sectors. Furthermore, the exorbitant costs associated with obtaining and defending patents further disadvantage individual inventors and small businesses. This creates a system where innovation is often dictated by corporate interests rather than genuine scientific progress. The patent system, in its current form, raises serious concerns about its role in perpetuating a system that prioritizes profit over the betterment of humanity. In other words, scientific community aren't genuinely interested in innovation that will better serve humanity but selected few. In this context, there isn't supposed to be need for scientific community or patent organizations that isn't neutral but bounded by race, geopolitics and cooperate interests. Challenging the gatekeepers, a call to action. The time has come to challenge the existing scientific gatekeepers and their stranglehold on innovation. We, the public, must demand transparency, accountability and a more inclusive approach to scientific inquiry. This requires questioning the narratives presented to us, scrutinizing the sources of information and supporting independent researchers and inventors who dare to challenge the status quo. We must move beyond blindly accepting the pronouncements of scientific authorities and engage in critical thinking. This involves fostering a spirit of open-mindedness, considering alternative perspectives and demanding evidence-based conclusions. Not political, racial or geopolitical interest-based conclusions. The future of scientific progress depends on our collective willingness to break free from the shackles of corporate influence and embrace genuine innovation, regardless of its origin. The future of innovation. Will we choose truth or control? The path forward is clear. We can either continue down the current trajectory, allowing corporate interests and regional biases to dictate the course of scientific progress, or we can choose a different path. This alternative path requires us to reclaim the spirit of scientific inquiry, embracing a future where innovation is driven by a genuine desire to improve the human condition, not by the pursuit of profit or power. The choice is ours. Will we remain passive observers? allowing the current system to perpetuate itself? Or will we rise to the occasion demanding a more just and equitable scientific landscape that serves the needs of all humanity? The answer to this question will determine not only the future of innovation, but the fate of our planet. There you have it, the entire humanity faith lies on our collective decision we make today, however, should you Westerner choose to dance along with your scientific community. African will be on their way to decide her faith regardless of political economic nukes facing Africa. I hereby leave you with your faith and the consequences of your actions. Now, if you will excuse me, gentlemen and ladies, I have a flight to catch and more importantly, a self-powered car to drive. Bye for now.